all right good morning welcome back to the mass welcome back to the mass thank you guys thank thanks all viewers and subscribers thanks for the support um remember guys new um if i do a video that you guys find interesting and can send to a friend and they can send to a friend and we can acquire um new subscriber to the movement and please subscribe as previous and new one please turn on the notification bell so when i drop new contents you guys can be the first to receive it and remember when the mass is over a thousand subscribers are more are more the mass will unveil now this man more getting a two topic um two very sad situation one a come out of st mary and one a come out of manchester jamaica um so the first one i want to talk about is a situation where happened in a in a st St. Mary. Now, a mother in her house asleep and she said she only feel like a liquid upon her foot. And then by the time she knows a liquid around over her foot and by the time she knows her house upon fire. Her name is Rose Beecher, 38, you know? And she run out of the house. And when she run out of the house, you know, other family members did they in the house and they run out too. Unfortunately, a baby girl, four year old, um, never get thrown out of the house and she burned to death. You know what I mean? And they must say it's a case of arson. So, but I really like the police, them can get whoever um, do this and bring them to justice. Because some things happen, boy, it just, it just heartbreaking. Why kids are caught up in all the drama and mystery? And all the crime where I take place in Jamaica, you always hear the innocent, the innocent, them mostly affected. That's why I'm telling you, in Jamaica, you know, when people worship and praise bad man, them bad man don't care, them bad man don't care and love the people, and when they care, say, and them, them are protect, you know. They see them people with bad man claims that they love and protect, and them they rob and kill and destroy. It's just, it, it's just a manipulating game them play, you know. So they yo, them day in your community, yo, I love my people, I don't want to be working on these people, I don't blah, 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 but then go in another man community. Or even them same community, and them rob and destroy and kill the innocent and the weak. And people who can help themselves. Eh? I don't know what this cause of them um, buckle bomb in the house, but the, 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 the child father um, say when he arrived on the scene, um, he just started crying because he said, daughter burn up. You see me? And yes, I then throw a buckle bomb in the house. Mr. Cohen. You see me? So, boy, it's just a sad situation. A four year old lose her life just like that innocent baby girl. Now, have nothing to do with what I go on in this world. And she lose her life. That's very sad. And very heartbreaking. And we just wish the authorities can find who do it and bring them to justice. You know what I mean? Yeah, very sad. Now, I touch on another thing now. Um, so, this happening in Manchester now. Manchester. Manchester. Manchester has become a real hot place over the last couple of months. You know what I mean? Manchester come become become really hot, you know? So this is a case where now a man stab a man to death over four hundred dollars. He alleged that the attacker is owed by the, the deceased and you know, him said the man run here thirteen at the night and asked the man for him four hundred dollar. I guess argument ensue and him stop the man when the police then come rush him to the police were call when they come rush him to the hospital the man was pronounced dead to death four hundred dollar. Yes may I say the deceased um is identified as Kevin Neal. Um otherwise called Catfish of Top Tree Chains District in Manchester. You know what I mean? And that really sad. The brother no matter what kind of dispute you know, have a what kind of problem when I go through. Nobody knows if you kill nobody for four hundred dollar, brother. Nobody no fear kill nobody for four hundred dollar. Yes, what I mean, I say. You know, Jamaican people feel for talk about things and 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 try for um um try to come to a solution without violence. Everything them do in Jamaica, every solution them have to come to it have to include violence. It's like the culture just the mindset and the culture just prone to violence, brother. The mindset and the culture is just is just. It's just prone to violence. I don't know, it comes like some demons that run through Jamaica where I say, yo, people for just kill, kill, kill without care. Because it's, it's, it's that, that is happening. Because people are in regards to life again, people are value life again, brother. You know, man? $400, go kill a man for $400, brother. Eh? No, no matter how bad it be. 
No kill a man for 400 dollars, brother. No, you give up your freedom and you go to prison. Go and spend the rest of your life in a prison. So, them de, not think about them things when I do them things. Boy, very sad, very sad, very sad. Very sad. And you see a Manchester, the Jamaica, we don't say a lot of, a lot of returning residents um, go back to Mandeville and them places in Manchester one time. They left England or Canada or America or them places, you know, brother. And the crime rate in, a man, in, man, in Manchester, especially Mandeville, is something alarming. Because the time period from this year, last year, no, uh, um, October to now, a 25 more murder take place in Manchester. So that are something where authorities need to look upon and then need to get a quell to it before Manchester become a place like Spanish Town, a place like um, Westmoreland or Montego Bay. Because I come like I said, the crime and violence continues a, a, a stretch to places where you expect at least a color harder for them and look at discipline. It, it crime and violence is a stretch go everywhere. So the authorities need to do something about that. You know what I mean? And you can go find you can go find more information about this on the Jamaica Glean and you can Google it and check it out. Cause me not try to come promote the fake news, so you can go check it out on the Glean and you can you can go read up information about it. You see me? Manchester has become a, a hot spot right now. And the authorities need to quell it before it gets any worse. Anyways, this is the mass. I'm out. Remember, like, share, subscribe. I'm a bigger. Please, please, if I do a video, I send it to a friend and ask them to subscribe so the movement can gather more subscribers and we can get we eat over a thousand um, subscribers, you know? And please turn on the notification bell. I beg you, know, all viewers and subscribers that subscribe to the channel already, share the video, them, send to a friend, beg them to subscribe so we can keep the movement going and we can highlight the things that will affect Jamaica. You know what I mean? So this is the mass. I'm out. Have a blessed day each and every one. Everything you wanna do, remember put God in it.